Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. Now a couple of days ago I was over at BlizzCon over in California and I may have actually accidentally bought this thing right here. Basically this is like a plushie that you can purchase obviously, but it also comes with a unique in-game skin which is going to be none other than Bikini Stitches, look at that ass. I mean, let's play a game. And we find ourselves on the Infernal Shrines, this is actually the second game that I'm playing with this beautiful skin. I mean, look at that, I'm just ready for a day at the beach just to hang out with my popsicle right there and I got like, I guess a little spade there and I got like a bucket, it's, it's a great time to play right here. And on top of that I'm wearing a thong, which is just amazing. Also, I got this new mount that I've only actually also used only for one game so far and this is, a, I believe called the Void Seeker or whatever, which comes with like the, uh, the legacy of the Void game, for StarCraft 2 obviously. But anyways, um, I'll let Sagara solo the bottom lane, let's have a quick look at the team composition. So we got Sagara, Leoric, Nazebo, Stitches and Falstad, and we're up against Sagara, Artana, Sergeant Hammer, Falstad and Thrall. For the first talent, I'm gonna be going for the Hungry for more, which will make me a little bit more powerful whenever I grab those health globes, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Um, now, this skin, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly very rare. I haven't seen anyone play it in, you know, ever, really. I don't think I've seen anyone play it. Mainly also because Stitch is not really that primary of a pick right now. I mean, if you see tanks, it's generally speaking gonna be, you know, another tank, but... We should be in a uh, we should be in a pretty good place. I mean, he's still extremely powerful. Just because the pro gamers aren't playing him doesn't necessarily mean that he's terrible, right? So, what are the abilities that I got? The key and the signature move that I got is my Q. The Q is basically this this hook that I can cast, just like that. And what happens is that someone gets very close to me immediately, and we can even immediately nuke him down, right? Now, since they have a couple of low HP heroes in there, such as Falstad, such as Thrall, such as even Sergeant Hammer, who always sits down. Um, this actually is a super useful ability because oftentimes you can pick up someone before a fight starts, nuke it down and then have a 4v5 happen, you know, at the objective for example, which is pretty huge on this map as well. Um, so we'll see if we can make use of it. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible really. Then I have the W ability. The W ability is pretty straightforward. It's like this arc forward type slam and I basically can put it down and do a lot of damage. Shouldn't be tanking that hammer right there, that makes no sense. Um, and then I also have my E ability, and the E ability is uh, called Devour, and what happens is I get a bunch of extra healing. Though I don't have anyone to nuke anyone down with for now. Can I actually... I believe I can actually go through, but it's all fine. So here you can see the Devour, it's like a massive self-heal. On top of that, last but not least, I also have an ability, my passive, that makes me very, very good at doing AoE damage. Oh wow, he's just going for it. That was not worth it, sir. Um, and basically, whenever I do get damage done to me, I will um, I will end up... Uh, wow, that's so, so extremely aggressive. Um, I will, um, I will like, put down this little, like, pile of, like, green gooey stuff on the ground, and people that stand in it will basically become poisoned and get some damage dealt to them. So, obvious- oh my god. Whoa, 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 never mind, never mind. I, uh, I asked for, for help at the core, that doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, so whenever I get damage done, I do some AoE damage. Now, I'm gonna be going with the Amplified Healing. The Amplified Healing works very well, um, together with my, my self heal, the Devour. But on top of that, also with my, um, with my first stun that I picked. Alright. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much here, but if I can body block out, I mean, Sergeant Hammer, that's fine. I don't have my hook available yet. Okay, there we go. That was pretty good. I don't know exactly why he just stood there, but I mean, if I can pick him off, I'll gladly do so. Pretty nice. And um, yeah, so the, uh, the hook comes from, uh, or the extra healing comes from my E ability, but more importantly, also my... Uh, first talent that I picked. So even though we don't have like a direct healer in this team composition, I still feel like it's the best choice. Oh! Gotcha! That's where the hook becomes very good. I'm just trying to do some damage. The E ability also does a bunch of damage, so it's all, all in all, it's very good. And here is uh, Giant Hammer just chilling around, which is fine for me. They did manage to put him behind the gate, so this first one is not gonna do too, too much. But um, I guess uh, Falstaff can start flying towards the bottom lane if he wants to. Very shortly, the uh, the new group will start joining in, and I guess we can pick up one more tower here, push towards level 7 a little faster, and, uh, you know, just gain that massive advantage so far. So I'm gonna be going here with the Saver of the f uh, of the Flavor, which is uh, just gonna make it a little better. 
<clears throat> now, there's a couple different builds that you can play. The one that I'm playing right here is pretty standard. Um, a lot of people are... Um, uh, a lot of people are running like a like a, a full um, a full um, slam build as well, which focuses a lot on the W. I could have done something similar because we do have a Leoric in this game as well, uh, but I still think it's fine to go with this uh, this change up as well. I think this this more standard team fighting build is going to be more powerful in the long run. Don't know why I slammed that way. That made no sense. Wow. So Sagara actually ended up falling right there. There's a big fight going on in the bottom lane. Looks like Thrall may very well end up going down as well. Do we have the life drain? Maybe not. It's all fine though. We're still pushing in the lane. And well, I obviously don't want to be fighting too aggressively here either. But I mean, I'm super sustainable. You can already notice that a couple times. All is good so far. I may need some help though. If they push in even harder, I will need some help, but I guess I'm just going to be able to go back. I'm going to go back real quick, knowing that it's going to be up. And we're going to go to watch the uh, to watch the shrine right now. Now, I hope that the, she is not going to go down, uh, sadly. I guess she was backing right there with the fishing or something of them. Which is unfortunate, but it's only a 12 second counter right now. We're already at the, well, like a full level advantage, I guess we can call it right now. Oh man, that's so silly. He did so much damage to them, and then the final hit came from, uh, I believe that was False Stats Hammer right there. Picking off a lot of kills for them. Well, only actually three, it's not that bad. Now I've got two different ultimates that I can use. I'm already gonna start thinking about it. Um, we're not quite there yet, but we can go either for extra AoE damage, which I think is fine. Or we can go for one that allows me to swallow one of them whole. Um, I think that's the one we're gonna go for, but think, I think we're gonna go for Gorge. Gorge is just very good. And I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get out of here. Cannot quite solo this, right? Like, that's just not gonna happen. Okay, false stat coming in. Come here! Oh, and this is good. This is really good. He should be down, right? He should be down? Great. That's actually a pick, big, big pickup. Okay, nice. Alright, so here we go. Gonna go for the Gorge. Now if I can put someone in my tummy, it means that I can also pick them up very easily by myself. I can walk them behind the gate if we really want to. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I'm not completely sure where I'm gonna spit him out yet. I'm just taking him out of the battle. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Gotta get some help! Oh, okay, good. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Guys, please help! Please help! Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty crazy there, but nice. We got another Punisher here pushing in the bot lane. I'm gonna drink from the fountain and get back to mid, I think. <clears throat> Let's grab some more of those health gloves real quick. Well, actually, their throw is in the bot in the top lane right now, which means that they're not planning on picking it up. That means I can also go to the bot lane and just, you know, help out with this team fight. We may be able to even push in two more towers. Oh. Almost got him there. But yeah, it's all about landing a hook for sure. Like if you don't land the hook, it's hard to uh, to make this character useful. But uh, we're all pushing the bot lane in right now. They are at level 10 at this point, so that is something to keep in mind. We should probably just leave. We need to get that talent advantage first. Can we can we can we smash the fort, guys? Stitches wants to play with sand apparently and build a sand castle. That would be fun. Oh. Trying to gorge people down here. Okay, got him. Wow, the spear from Dune, really? Alright, all was fine though. That managed to gorge him right there, but the team uh, wasn't quite grouped up again. Alright, heading towards the top lane. If you manage to pick off two, that would be very good. Don't know why I keep trying to hook him when he's using that ability, it's kind of silly of me. Oh, nice! Good job. Great, great job. Gonna go for the run relentless here. Ah. Oh. Now I should have needed Gorge, right? But it's fine. 
We can push in this tower. Sadly, I can't consume a tower. I don't know why Leoric wants to go there, honestly. I gotta drink from the fountain real quick. Stealing one of their camps is not this, like, this is not League of Legends where that's worth it, right? I mean, especially not when we have our own camp up, it's too much of a risk. Alright, they want to take it? Well, I guess if you had two it right there, it actually can work. Okay. Very good. Getting a whole bunch of them immediately. Okay, here we go, here we go. I got the couple, I got one in my tummy here. Okay, he's down, right? Right? Cool. Wow. Leoric, don't die! Leoric is still alive somehow. Very good. Gonna devour one of those minions. Just because the cooldown is pretty long doesn't mean I shouldn't be using it to heal up. It's kind of scary right now because there's a lot of low HP heroes. Oh, gotcha! Oh, <laughs> sweet! Alright, don't know what Leoric was doing right there, but... I guess it turned out to be okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up these minions. Finish up the objective. May not do as much damage as the other dudes, so I guess I'll just make myself useful and actually play the objective here. Uh, so, so far we've done actually a pretty significant amount of damage. I mean, we've done as much damage as Sagara. Um, usually, like, pre-level 16, Zagara is not gonna do as much damage, but I mean, it still, it still shows that even with, like, a, um, talent selection that is not particularly powerful, um, or, like, particularly high in damage, I suppose, what I'm trying to say, you can still do a significant amount of damage. So we have the boss pushing in the mid right now, we got the bruiser camp that they killed right here at the top lane, and Falstad is killing up the... The bottom lane, so I am allowed to go back to the middle. I can be going here for stone skin, and I can be going for the fishing hook as well. I think I'm gonna go with the stone skin this time around. Fishing hook is very good and all, but... I mean, this just makes a little more sense, right? There's so many little minions on this map, so that the... You know, the hook is not gonna be that powerful anyway. It's like, oh, what are you doing? Why did she just... Why did she just put that in tower range? Yeah, that was a pretty big fill. I do agree with you, that one. Okay, got him. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Yeah, so those hooks are doing a lot of damage. Those hooks are doing a lot of damage. Should we? Maybe we shouldn't. Well, sadly, Sagara ended up... Oh my god, Leoric is going balls deep in here. Alright, let's get at... Denying them that vision. All right, let's get the or let's get the two small camps. Very shortly, we should see another one of the shrines activate, so this should give us some nice extra pushing potential. Don't know what one is going to be next though. I'm not actually sure what the order is of on this map for the uh, for the shrine activations. It may very well be randomized. Okay, good. Shrine should go up soon. Alright. Very nice. Very, very nice. So this team is working together well. This team is working together pretty well. If it could get some vision, that'd be nice so I can actually see if I can hook someone, but... <gasps> Nazebo. Nazebo, what are you doing? What are you even doing over there, Nazebo? Why would you go straight to the middle? That's actually very, very unfortunate for us because it's gonna make it much, diff much more difficult. Alright, got him. Trying to do as much damage as possible here to him, and he does end up falling. That's huge. Now it's a 4v4. That helps a lot. That makes this much easier. Spawn times or like respawn times right now are pretty long. And the fact of the matter is that 4v5 we can lose anything, even with like a 2 level advantage. So, this is good. This is nice for us. Zagara actually decided to push the bottom lane in. Wow. That's a very ballsy move from them. I'm not sure if that's the correct one. They're basically giving us a full on Titan here, right? The sideways hit right there is kind of bad, but I guess Nasebo can go ahead and defend against uh, Zagara. She's only gonna kill a fort here anyway, so the fort is not that big of a loss. 
I don't think he's actually gonna stay there. Alright, we're Hero of the Storm right now. 20 and 0. I haven't actually died a single time yet. Pretty nice. Alright, so here we go. The Mutalist killing spree. Nice. Alright, great. I'm not sure if you should be chasing, man. It's so scary on a Falstad. I mean, Falstad is good, right? Well, I got him. So Gara is so scary in a 1v1 battle, though, if she has the Mutalisk and the, uh, like, you know, I don't know if she went with the uh, Griff Spines with the Mutalisk, but... It's so such a scary hero, she can do so much damage. This is looking very good, though, for us. Gotcha. And they're actually helping out a lot. With all these silly moves. Okay, activating my stone skin right there. Well, that dude sure, sure is very tanky. Okay, nice. He did get uh, did get hit right there. I'm gonna go with the hardened shield here, giving that that little bit of extra sustain. So now I have a one and a two for extra sustain, which is huge. I mean, I'm never gonna die now. At least I don't plan on to on, on dying here. So I'm invulnerable for a full four seconds, and he's dead. Great. Don't die! Don't die, dude! Alright. Well, I may end up dying myself now. I may end up dying myself here. Five seconds remaining. There's no way I'm alive, right? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. Well, at least Agara managed to get out of there. That was my first death of the game. Just after I said I wasn't gonna die at all this game. That is a little unfortunate and sounds a little bit silly. It's fine. I managed to keep uh, Nazebo alive, so I guess... Why did he walk? Did he walk all the way? I guess he committed all the way to walking over here, so it's was like, well, shit, I <laughs> may as well just walk all of it. Because I'm here now anyway, right? So, we haven't actually managed to put any of the keeps in, though, so even though this is looking good, um, we definitely can still lose this. We need to... We need to stick together. We are far ahead. Yeah, I do. <laughs> He's asking if I make uh, movies on the internet. It's all good though. It's all fine. Alright. It's funny that I get recognized in games every now and then where I don't really play. Like, I've had it happen a couple times in... Well, obviously, I, okay, let me try and rephrase, right? I've always been focusing uh, a lot on, on StarCraft 2. And most people recognize me in that game. And not so much in others, right? But in... Uh... Ow. In, uh, in this game, I see uh, quite a couple of people as well, like, I think it's every other game or so, where people, where someone, like, recognizes my name, maybe every third. Um, and in Overwatch, a lot of people start seeing my name as well, which is kind of weird. I just feel like a nerd playing video games, a lot of people are like, hey, aren't you that dude that makes videos? I'm like, well, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Recording one right now as well. Kind of funny though. It is pretty cool that people are uh, recognizing my name in places. I just don't really feel like I'm that special, you know. I'm just a nerd playing video games, and oh god, we got a second dude as well. <laughs> Damn, the whole team. <laughs> it's all fine. I don't want to become big headed. All right, so let's push. Let's all push. All boat. We got another big Putin Punisher here. I will be on television. <laughs> Mom, get the camera. <laughs> I'll eat that mind shot, guys. It's fine. False that flying in on the minimap right now. Very nice. So here we go. Sick push coming in. Okay. Wow. Really? You're gonna let him go? Alright, I'll just push with the Punisher then. Gotcha. And he does end up falling, so this is pretty good. Very, very nice. Where ya thrall? Oh, that nuke damage right there, that's insane. Oh. Should have angled that a little bit better, but we may very well be able to just push for the victory right here. 
I mean, we're all over here. And I think Bikini Stitches is gonna get its very first victory. Obviously because of the Bikini. I heard that the Bikini makes your damage go up by like four times. Okay, maybe that's not true, but still. The Bikini is pretty sexy though. I mean, look look at look at this. Like, look at that ass. Okay, no, don't look at that ass. It's a Stitches ass. It's pretty dirty. It's pretty gross. Um, don't die though. We need to make sure we don't die. Do have the, uh, the shield on me right now. And there we have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that follow button down below. It's a subscribe button. You get a notification when I upload another one. And I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next Heroes of the Storm video.